Hello and welcome to another episode of Crossroads Rebuild. My name is Steven and this is my 2007 Ford Fusion, my first Copart salvage car rebuild project. The weather here in Indiana hasn't been conducive to working on cars recently, uh, at least if you're stuck working in your driveway and not in a garage. I do have a garage and I'm hoping to get it cleaned out soon, be able to start working on my car projects inside, but for now I'm stuck working in the driveway and the weather has been uh, below freezing in the teens to, in some cases, the teens below zero. Uh, and we are finally in our first couple of days above freezing. The snow is beginning to melt and I am itching to get to work on my car. So let's get started putting this car back together. In the last episode, we got started by taking care of a few things uh, that would be easier to replace while the front of the car is still dismantled before uh, the bumper crash bar and the radiator course part and all that goes on. Uh, so we replaced uh, the air box, the throttle body, and the power steering fluid reservoir. Uh, today, I have just a couple of more hoses and lines I want to replace uh, before we put all that stuff on. But before we do that, I'm actually going to go ahead and um, clean up my frame rails just a little bit. This car is very rust free, but there is just a little bit of rust uh, there on the frame rails where the bumper crash bar uh, is going to attach. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, sand that rust off put a little bit of primer on it and then put a little bit of paint on it and uh, hopefully that will prevent any future rust. Even though I'm not planning on owning this car long term, I don't want this car to rust unnecessarily for the next owner, so I am going to clean that up. Now you are supposed to paint in uh, temperatures usually in the 50s or 60s or above, that's what they would recommend. I don't really have that luxury and probably won't for several months. Uh, so I'm going to use a heat gun, I'm going to warm those parts up, make sure they're good and dry and that they're a little bit warmer and then I'll be able to uh, throw a little primer and paint on there and uh, just get them cleaned up and uh, hopefully that'll be good enough. Then we'll start getting to work on putting other parts on. Alright, there were a few more hoses and hard lines that I wanted to replace before I started reassembling the front of the car. For sake of time, I didn't show that on camera. And I did get uh, the mounts uh, from the frame rails where the uh, bumper crash bar will attach. I got those uh, cleaned up, the rust off. I primed them with a rust converting primer. And then I put a little bit of body color paint on there. Um, it's a lot better off now than it was. Hopefully that won't rust for a very, very long time. And now it's time to actually start bolting on some parts to this car. got the front crash bar on this is an aftermarket part that I got from Rock Auto it is Kappa uh, certified so should be factory fit and uh, inexpensive enough that I went ahead and bought a new one uh, mine didn't actually take a direct hit to the crash bar itself uh, but these brackets here are what hold the um, the radiator core support in place and uh, those brackets got pretty bent out of shape on mine uh, because it got hit up high. Uh, so I went ahead and got a new one. Um, finding one in a salvage yard was near impossible. Um, a lot of these cars did take front impacts and uh, those that didn't, people took them before I could get there. So I couldn't find them available in the junkyard so I went ahead and bought one from Rock Auto and uh, I think it'll do the job just fine. Uh, the other thing that came with it is the um, 
impact absorbing plastic piece that'll go on the front and then the bumper cover will go uh, over top of that so we're not ready for that piece yet uh, it'll go on sometime in the future now we're just about ready for the core support to go on Alrighty, new core support, and again, cap apart, aftermarket, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to bolt it up, see how it goes. All right, it's getting dark, and uh, so I'm gonna have to pack it up here, put my tools away, and uh, get the car covered up for the evening. Unfortunately, I did not get uh, the core support put on, uh, but I did get the crash bar on, and I got uh, some hoses and hard lines, and I got everything prepped for uh, putting that core support on. So, next time, I'll be able to put the core support on, and that means I can start putting in my radiator, my AC condenser, and all the miscellaneous other things that need to be attached and that means we're that much closer to getting this car running again. So I'm gonna have to stop it here tonight. I do wanna say thank you to all of you who have joined me over the last few episodes. Uh, the channel has grown far faster than I ever expected. I think when I checked earlier today, I was um, almost 450 uh, subscribers, uh, which blows my mind. Uh, that tells me that I'm not the only person out there who is interested in getting into uh, rebuilding salvaged cars. So for those of you who have joined me since the last video thank you so much I hope you uh, continue to watch and uh, like this video if you're joining me for the first time and you haven't subscribed would you go ahead and subscribe and why don't you go ahead and hit that little bell icon so you can see when I upload new videos thank you all for watching and I'll catch you on the next episode of Crossroads Rebuild